Today we're going to talk about the Dutch colonial style. This is the first of many more to come, but this is the first style we're going to talk about. It's one of the oldest styles I'm going to talk about. It started from around 1625 and went all the way through around 1840. So this is a really old style in the United States. It has some interesting features that have carried over to a lot of houses that you see today. Some of the key elements that we're gonna talk about. It has a side gabled roof with a very little overhang. The eaves of the house actually sometimes have a flare to them, so they actually come down and curve a little bit as they go out, and they're typically only one story. So I'm gonna sketch out um, what the typical Dutch colonial style looks like and point out some of the key elements and features of that style. So this is the Dutch colonial style. Now, like I mentioned earlier, this style is interesting because it is um, typically one story, really old, so it's more, more of a rural type setting for most of these, these homes. And um, a lot of the homes, what you'll, you'll notice is that they have, um, if you look at the general form of these houses, they're one story. And the roof, typically what you might see is a, is a rake that overhangs um, about 18 to 24 inches on most houses. But these houses actually have very little rake that overhangs and they have steep roofs, but they also have a double slope roof. You can kind of tell by what I'm sketching here. They had a, a double slope, so it goes up and then changes pitch as it goes over the ridge there. So you would see a little bit of a pitch change as it goes over the ridge. Now, they didn't have any overhang here, but they did typically have some overhang on this side. And what they would do is actually curve that overhang. So you'd see a slight curve to it as it, as it overhangs just a little bit, maybe uh, 24 inches or so on both sides. And then maybe they would have like a loft or something up top here. Um, and then some pretty minimal in your window, in the window numbers. Um, and typically the door was actually on this front facade here where you do actually have the overhangs. So this is the general form. And these houses, a lot of times, were constructed of stone because that was one of the main building elements at the time. So a very simple structure for the time, and it was... Sixteen twenty five to eighteen forty. That's the typical Dutch colonial house. So tomorrow we're going to talk about the French colonial house and the key elements that are related to that particular house. We're just going to step through time as we go and go through thirty or so different house styles. Kind of point out the little nuances of each one as we go along. So thanks for watching, and I hope uh, to see you guys tomorrow.